Rock Hopper here, and this video is going to be Dino Might. You can bank on that. Traveling over the hills on a lonely paved road, the tiny desert town of Nelson appeared. It's nestled in El Dorado Canyon and has a population of about 30 people. Originally settled by Civil War deserters trying to evade military authorities, the area was rich in gold, silver, and lead and had one of the largest mining booms in the state. It was also one of the most nefarious and rowdy towns with a long history of bloodshed and corruption. Founded in 1775 by Spaniards, they named it El Dorado, which means City of Gold. Gold and silver were discovered here in 1859 and the rush was on in 1861. The town was eventually named Nelson for Charles Nelson, who was murdered along with four others by a renegade Indian. The Techaticup, or El Dorado mine, was the scene of several labor and ownership disputes which usually led to bloodshed. Murders became so commonplace that law enforcement tended to avoid the town. Despite the violence, Nelson became the most successful gold mining boom town in southern Nevada. Mining ceased in the 1940s. Nelson's mines produced some $10 million worth of gold, silver, copper, and lead through the years. When the town was purchased in 1994, it got its second wind as many of the old buildings were restored and a multitude of vintage cars were brought in. Nelson now serves as a set for commercials, movies, and music videos. They just happened to be filming a commercial the day I was there. Nelson is an outdoor desert park and an artist and photographer's delight. Car buffs will love the amount of vintage vehicles strewn around the town. This amusement park for historians takes you back to a less complicated time when sodas were a nickel and gasoline was 29 cents a gallon. Many of the cars have been laid to rust and may they rust in peace here. But if this brings you just a little closer to those men who are going into the hottest spots, Do you feel lost or low on energy? Are you feeling down? Do you suffer from depression? Now there's Xanamax. Just four Xanamax a day can make you feel good again. Side effects include nausea, vomiting, hearing loss, loss of vision, acne, eczema, hair loss, anal leakage, uncontrollable bowels, diarrhea, extreme constipation, kidney stones, bleeding gums, bedwetting, memory loss, slurred speech, muscle twitches, numbness in extremities, internal hemorrhaging, convulsions, paralysis, and death. I love Xanamax. <laughs> I'm your Xanamax. I'm your Xanamax. Make you feel good, I'm his Animax, I'm his Animax, just like you should. Make sure to talk to your doctor and see if Xanamax is right for you. Uh. Get Xanamax today and start being happy again. Uh. Unleash the happiness within. Xanamax, happiness in a bottle. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I just wanted to remind you guys to subscribe. Perhaps you fancy an International Harvester Metro, or a Dodge that looks like a minibus. Either way, pull up to the pump with 20-something cents a gallon gas. Better job. Is this skullduggery or a Doug Scullery? Assorted GMCs and others await your inspection. Yeah, this place is definitely old school, as with this 1951 truck on a truck that certainly is out there. How about this 1946 Chevy? Let's take a trip back in time to the groovy 1960s and early 70s, as there are plenty of VWs represented here. How about a bug on a bus? Any bugs crawling around this place. Some heavy Chevy with a cool hood ornament. And how about this old Ford pulling a trailer? 
I can make out the word phonographs on that. That's a serious military truck there. And no, it doesn't stop at railroad crossings. This guy liked Dyke. Is there anybody out there who also liked Dyke? Let's cruise in what looks to be a high clearance four wheel drive Maverick. At least I think that's what it is. Was this an old well driller's truck? Here's a magic bus you could full time road trip in. That's so cool. It gives me the willies. Some of the slogans of the past for 7-Up include Fresh Up with 7-Up and You like it? It likes you. Must have been dynamite slogans because 7-Up became a big name brand and they took that to the bank. Plenty of old porcelain fused metal signs here. I believe that's a Navy training plane. The T-28 which was used from the early 1950s through the 1970s. The plane that appears to have taken a nose dive was part of a movie set 3,000 miles to Graceland, a 2001 film. The plane is possibly an Army OV-1 Mohawk. That looks like a sturdy beast with a solid wench. And that one looks solid as well. You'll find trucks coming out of the woodwork here. The vehicles seem to be breeding, as every few years there seem to be more of them. This place might seem alien to you, and you might find life forms that you think are out of this world. <laughs> Looks like she's mingling with the Metropolitans. Wander about. There's plenty to see, whether it's buses, or trucks, or company vehicles. Some of you will want to get your hands on these. Cars, that is. There's plenty of classics to keep you amused. Whether it's a GM truck, a Chevy, or a Plymouth. It's likely to strike a tune with you, here at the Church of the V8. If you can provide any information on anything featured in this video, please do so in the comments. I can almost hear Bruce Springsteen singing Pink Cadillac or envision Aretha Franklin cruising down the freeway of love in her pink Cadillac. Gotta love those shark fins. Enjoy a cool RC Cola. You can have it up for the camera here, but you won't find any beer. Get your TV repaired by this guy, who only has a five-digit phone number. The 3C was here, the Civilian Conservation Corps. Yep, it's a fee area. Two dollars to just wander around and ten to twenty dollars, depending on what kind of photography you want to do. Make sure you read the new rules. I like number three. Due to the abundancy of stupid people, you can no longer just walk around here. Bring your lunch and your drinks, because there's no restaurants and no lodging. And whatever you do, don't be here after dark. I hope you enjoyed exploring the fun and funky town of Nelson, Nevada with me. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up like on the video and share with everyone you know. Until next time, this is the Rock Hopper. I'll see ya.